There are many ways of solving any given problem, and yeah, you could try and memorize all the formulas they tell you to memorize for DAT. Good luck with that. But there's only one way to break units open. So instead of wasting time trying to recall formulas on DAT, break units open and use them to quickly and easily eliminate answer choices. Here's an example of a characteristic natural sciences chemistry question where you can easily use units to eliminate four of the answer choices quickly and easily. Which of the following would give osmotic pressure of a 1.5 liter solution with 0.6 moles of a monosaccharide at 20 degrees Celsius? And then they give us the Rydberg constant, as shown in the parentheses. The question is asking for pressure, so start by looking for any units of pressure in the question stem. And indeed, we are given ATM in the Rydberg constant in the parentheses. So now write that out appropriately, making sure that moles and Kelvin are in the denominator because they have a negative one exponent. So that just means they are inverse or in the denominator. Since the units have Kelvin and we're given 20 degrees Celsius in the question stem, we can narrow down our answer choices to A, C, or E because we'd have to add 273 to 20 degrees Celsius in order to convert it to Kelvin, which eliminates B and D because they still have 20 degrees Celsius. Now back to pressure and its unit ATM. In order for one of the answer choices to give us pressure, its unit must be on the top. And because the number always sticks to the numerator of its units, 0.8 must also be on the top, which narrows the answer choices down to C or E and eliminates A because 0.8 is on the bottom. And finally, since liters is on the top of the Rydberg constant units, the 1.5 liter in the question stem has to go on the bottom of the answer to cancel the liters out on the top, making C the correct answer. So let me show you how exactly this works out. This is what answer choice E looks like with all of its units. And you can see that the moles are on top of each other and cancel out, and the Kelvin are on top of each other and cancel out. And then we're left with this, which indeed has ATM, which is what we need. However, we still have two liters on the top, which would give us liters squared, which would not give us the formula for pressure. We'd have to have only ATM. And this is what answer choice C looks like with all of its units. You see that the moles are on top of each other and they cancel out. The Kelvin are on top of each other and cancel out. And then we're left with this, where the liters are now on top of each other and cancel each other out. And finally, the only unit left is ATM, which is what we want, giving us answer choice C. Simple as that. In the description below this video is a link to Amazon to get your own DAT without memorizing formulas book with tons of practice and detailed solutions so you can solve DAT questions easily and quickly.